This is Dan Max, the trading agent. This is a stock trading and recap channel that I wanted to share to the masses. In a probability game, there's no certainty. Here are my insights and predictions. Hello, family. It's Dan Max, the trading agent. It is November, what is it, the 2nd? Yeah, last two days have been kind of a blur for me. If you can tell, my voice is still a little off, but I've been sick and laid up in bed and finally got slow down enough to where I had to sleep. The head cold I had has finally kicked in and got to me. So I'm back though. Um, <clears throat> wanted to drop a video and just kind of get my thoughts out there about what I see and what's going on. While I'm thinking about it, you're invited to my Discord room. There's a ton of us here if you notice on the right. There's a lot of different chats, a lot of different information. Remember I'm a volume price analysis guy if you're familiar. Love Jesse Livermore. There's a lot of stuff we talk about in here. I will continue to update this. The more uh, more people get involved, and it's just something that's always been a passion of mine on the side from real estate and you know money management. It's something I used to do. It's more of personal now, but again, I've been trading for 20 years. I kind of know a lot of what's going on. So feel free to drop on in. And there will be a link in the video's description. So you're thinking about it jump into our discord hit pause and then uh, come back to the video let's start off with the TLT talked about this earlier in the week we'd hold this green trend line we're holding the 100 day 50 day I don't know why we would not touch the long-term downtrend I don't need to zoom out just trust me there it's it is there so next let's move on to the dollar we talked about this nice ascending channel we popped yesterday's volume was pretty strong i'm interested to see if this is a trap meaning the bears are actually getting trapped but there's no bulls either so someone was definitely selling the dollar yesterday it's worth keeping an eye on if we break the trend line which is now holding with the 50 day for the most part you're probably going to see issues so just keep that in mind the vix talked about this in nauseam anytime you're at 15 there is a risk of a pop in the vix and the market could come down right now it's holding tight in the 16s every time you got to the 20 day you're now backing off just keep an eye on it i'm not sure we will have a vix explosion but the odds grow the longer we we hold down here you could get a lot of this chop or it could be just a one time pop coming so just if you're thinking probabilities and you have some really nice trades with some big wins you know you might want to uh, start hedging a little bit with you can play puts because they're pretty cheap now at the VIX at this level so just keep that in mind if you want to hedge the SPY talked about the two times range would get hit everybody was kinda starting to get bearish here I was like we're gonna hit that two times range Yesterday we dogeed at it, and then we were, we're over it. So what's the next point? Let's start thinking about upside. Yeah, it could be a lot higher. If you got into some parabolic blow-off, I mean, 500. Wow, that'd be an impressive move. Or this is a bull trap. I mean, the volume's really not that great, but market runs up on the wall of worry. There's a lot to worry about right now. <laughs> That's for sure. QQQ. We are making new highs. Keep it simple. We talked about projecting it up to the 400 area. Let me just put the blue circle so it's there for everybody's enjoyment. Kind of where I think we could get to. Keep it kind of simple there. GLD doing nothing. Everybody hates gold. That's when you want to buy things, is when everyone hates them. I know that's counterintuitive. It seems very difficult to do. But this is a big fucking base. We've broken the trend line. We're at the 100-day, 200-day. We're waiting for something. Is it a FOMC decision? Maybe. Is it a jobs number on Friday? Maybe. Something is going on here in the gold market. And again, everyone's ignoring it. Let's just see if I'm right on this. I think this is a big base about to explode higher. <clears throat> Silver talked about 20-day. Well, we got down there. 50-day, I drew it in the circle. It would be a screaming buy if you got down there. I mean, if we got down into 21s, we talked about, that would be a screaming buy, too. I, long term, I think you got a lot of room to run. I mean, do the risk-reward. Dollar to make five or six. 
not a bad trade. Figure out your risk reward. Know your stops. I like the potential. Everyone's favorite miner, KL, getting slammered. Earnings coming this week. Said if it couldn't hold the 20 day, you got issues. Well, now we're back and we pop on the 100 day, like a little bit below it and held and closed near the higher of the day. They've got earnings coming. I wouldn't get too excited, but this the stock has got a W pattern. Could it be a little like cup and handle here? And this is like this weird ass handle. I don't know. You could you can draw things to see what you want. But let's go look at the, the big miners, the GDX. Said we were forming probably some sort of inverted head and shoulder or head and shoulders bottom. Not sorry, not inverted. Here's one shoulder. Now we look like the second shoulder. This blue zone is like the base level. Here's your head. We are at some important areas. 50 day. There's a long term trend line here. Let's go back to see where this guy comes from. Wow, it's super long dated. I'm assuming it's a very important. I don't even want to spend time. I know it's going back. So, GDXJ, the junior miners holding up pretty well considering only at the 20 day. Again, we broke the down channel. We knew the 100 day, 200 day, all this stuff is going to be trouble until you get over it. So, you're playing around back and forth we'll see roblox can't get over it looked like it was going to break out and now it's just high and tight if you're a bull you want to see high and tight that's okay holding in this mid 70s plus it's a good sign if you fail then you got issues you might have to come back down into the 70 area but if you're a bull oops there's nothing really going on here it's just that's trading it can be super annoying because things don't happen when you want them to because daily formations daily time frames it takes days for things to happen and so days it takes days it's that simple x the w pattern talked about this was gonna go higher if you had been bought at the uh 23 level on the 200 day yeah high and tight we went up on earnings steel prices seem to be holding up there's there's a lot of crazy shit going on in the world but for this stock to be down wouldn't make sense to me because Steel demand is strong. Everyone's favorite, Tesla. Everyone's like, oh, you may have been wrong here. And it's, I'm wrong sometimes. I would have been taking profit up here. But what did I say? If we got over the 1.618 FIB, you got the two in play. Well, we broke over it. We actually gapped over it yesterday. We're holding high. I, Hey, again, that's where it's a probability game. You didn't have to sell all of it. I didn't say, you know, dump all of your Tesla and fuck Elon Musk. No, I said if you had a bunch and you've been buying you probably need to start selling. Just like if you were buying low, you should sell high. Well, two times range should be a top side target. This thing could go parabolic. There's names in the market that make no sense. What was it? Uh, cars today, Avis is up 300% because they're going to go to electric cars. There's a lot of irrational moves in the market. And if you get lucky with them, and not to say that this is a, a lucky trade, no, meaning like if you get the parabolic moves, sometimes you got to take the profits. You know, I... We all hope everything's going to the moon, but sometimes it just doesn't leave the atmosphere, and then they come back and crash. So I don't think Tesla's going to crash here. But this is this is not this looks like more of the blow off than the beginning of the move. If you would have been buying, this is the beginning, the the hard time to buy. Now this is the hard time to sell. When things are hard, the difficult things, as we talk about in the market, are usually the right things to do. Just buy low, sell high. If you're a trader, that's how you have to think. That's just the rules of the game. People want to get mad or say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, I started trading the dot-com bubbles. Motherfucker, I saw a lot of crazy shit. Is the market at those kind of levels? It has been, but it's been very concentrated. What happens is if Tesla prices and all its future earnings today, next week, next month, next year, whatever the high ends up being, I don't know. But then it has to base for a while, and it has to eat it and earn those numbers. And I mean, if, if you, if we talked about this being a topping formation, people in this courtroom in last January, if you would have sold at 9.15, I mean, it got down to the 500s. That would have been a great buying opportunity. And then you had a retest, a double bottom. Retest, boom. Sell the puts, buy the calls, you're racing. And that's just trading. Now, some people like to say buy and hold because they can't use emotional intelligence to rationalize partial trading. Trading is not an all or nothing game. It doesn't have to be. You buy a thousand shares, you sell three hundred. That's all you have to do. When someone says you sell, if the percentages potential rising are low or dropping as it rises, you know that's that's how this works. 
So if you have questions, please feel free to hit me up. It's Again, if people are going to say, oh, you're wrong or get mad about I don't care. I'm playing the game as a probability potential. I've seen moves like this go, and then they come back, and then you would have great buying opportunities. But if you held 100%, you're just holding, and that's all you got. That's your only play, which, hey, if that goes to the moon, well, then great. You caught that moon rocket ride, and just remember, though, at some point, stocks take a break. There's better opportunities out there. You'll see, hey, maybe I should have taken some Tesla and bought ABC stock, and that ended up being a better potential. Opportunity risk, opportunity cost. There's always something else going on, potentially. Just keep that in mind. Not a hater on Tesla at all, but if I own it, I'm selling the higher we go because I buy low and I sell high. And If I sell high and it pulls back, I can add more. And if it keeps running and I still own partial amounts, you can continue to hold and gain it. Maybe it could get up to the two times range or two and a half range. I don't know. That's the game. None of us know anything for sure. If they did, it it would be the easiest game in the world. Anyway, off that topic. Let's go to Apple real quick. Talked about this after earnings, how probably bounced back. There was nothing wrong with their earnings. Everybody said uh, they're, you know, cutting their supply chain issues. Well, they're going to sell a ton of iPhones. I got the new one. It's fine. Whatever. It looks like a head and shoulders top. Well, let's just keep it really, really, really simple. If you want to buy Apple, wait for it to break out and invalidate the head and shoulders top. Let's add a note here just so you guys can keep this in mind. and Wait for head and shoulders top to be invalidated. That's simple. Oops, sorry. change the color let's make it apple red can't miss it that's what's up just wait and if it breaks above it and invalidates the head and shoulders and you got room to run i'm gonna finish on a micro strategy good friend scott asked me about this i wish i would have gotten back to him earlier but i think he knew the answers we talked about this it's been in a uh, kind of a basing wedge formation. Well, today it gapped over the top of the range. This area, I mean, you can, again, I don't like to use exact, when I say ranges, this has kind of been the ceiling. Gapped over it and we were running. Volume expand, that's what you want to see. That looks bullish to me. I'm sorry, that's what it is. You base, base, base in this tight wedge higher or lo- higher lows and lower highs this tight wedge and you break out should go higher now first resistance is obviously going to be the most important points of old highs i don't know why i keep doing that this is going to be your really first resistance that for sure let's do a little bit of projection here and show you guys how i draw why there you go Let's clean it up. Now we've kind of fulfilled that. I would say let's let's use this as the Fibonacci projection points because they might line up to with some funny things. Okay, because this is what I thought. Maybe the two times range might line up here. So, yep, this range will be old, important area. Yeah, I was going to say this thing's... Pfft. Here's an example of a rocket ship that if you would have taken some off as it got higher, you would have been gladly buying for a quarter of the cost. Another example of... And max trading probabilities, just telling you. Anyway, breaking out, I this is where I be the first resistance. I think it's going higher. Keep it simple. This is kind of very similar to, say, the Apple. You wait for the trend line to break, and it goes. Well, people said, oh, I got up to 840 today. Well, it's over the trend line, and if you would have bought it in the 700s, like we are talking about, in the, uh, you like it. And if you bought it down here, you really like it. And you're just saying, well, you know what? One day doesn't make... A trend, but it looks like a breakout. Let's keep it that simple. All right, Dan Max, the trading agent, I'm gonna sign out here. Please like, subscribe, share, add comments, whatever you want. This is made for the public to get information. I want to help people. Helping people makes me better, makes everyone better, keeps me focused. It allows me to give back. So if you like what you see, 
ask questions, get involved, stop by the Discord room. The link is in the description below. And I look to talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the content. Also smash the like button, share with your friends, and add a comment. If there's a topic or stock you'd like me to give you insight about, let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thanks.